Hey guys, uh, Adam Savage here in my cave. And as you know, oh, there we go. Hi. Hi everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave. And um, regular watchers of this space know that I have been 3D printing like crazy. Uh, I have been really enjoying what it is adding to my process. And I wanted to show you one thing that I love about it and then try out a specific new product. But first up, I just want to show you this. Um, it doesn't matter what part this is, um, but uh, this is a, this part that I printed is a, a um, it's an add-on to a Hasbro product from a movie franchise. Uh, and this is 100% infill. And this is with a very little bit of support, but like, I'm, I see a few, I see ever so slightly few printing lines, but almost nothing, like almost nothing. And let me show you how this comes out of the printer because it's actually worth showing. This is, this is the support it needed. Um, and this isn't, I'm not using any filament I'm not using any support filament as a barrier. I'm just using the same filament for the print as for the support. And here's, here's how beautifully it just pops off, okay? Um, come on. There we go. Oh, like, I, like I have said before, if you like picking scabs, and who doesn't like picking scabs? I found this on uh, Inventables, or Printables, I think, uh, or Thingiverse will include a link. And there you have it. That is, I have removed all the support material from that. That was all that it required to print like that, and that was 100% of the support material. And again, that that's like a production part. In PLA, I know I could probably even do this in like PETG or something a little more durable if it's a plastic toy. But right now I am only printing in PLA because I'm just sort of wrapping my head around that material. Damn, look at that. Now, one of the key things though that everyone who is doing 3D printing tells everyone who doesn't do 3D printing is it's not a replicator. It's not, I'm showing some really I'm showing some parts that happen to be ideal for what a 3D printer does the best. Um, this is also using the bamboo carbons smoothing feature. So it takes the hot end and irons the top surfaces of everything. Just amazing. Um, but it is a universal rule of 3D printing that all prints will have something wrong with them. Uh, I printed this up from another franchise. This is a toy from the 80s that uh, got used as a movie prop. Um, and it printed beautifully here, but not so beautifully there. Uh, and that's a classic thing that can happen with some 3D prints where they're on support and you end up with these uh, little spaghetti artifacts. Not so magnificent. But what I have here is a Pika 3D pen. This is supposed to take filament and allow you to use a pen like a 3D printer. Um, this is talks about repairing 3D prints with this thing. And I've seen people doing it online and I'm interested in trying it for myself. So let us see, we're gonna, we're gonna power this up and try this out. This has been sitting on my desk for like the better part of a month. PLA. I selected the filament and the filament's already set to PLA. So what I've what I've got here, well it's gonna right now it's the temperature is going up. 67, 68 degrees Celsius, heading on up to 160, I believe. Um <clears throat> I've got the same gray that I used for this part, and I'm gonna see what I can do with it. Okay. I'm trying it out on 168 degrees Celsius. Uh, 
that's just a sample here, and I'm going to feed some in. Okay, it's coming out. This is great, but I don't know how to stop it. Oh, great. Push the forward button to move it forward and push the forward button again to stop it. That makes sense. All right, let's get you a close up on this. Not that close up. Okay. Hey, 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 stop it. All right. Okay, no. <laughs> All right, so there's after a quick sand. Let's wake this up again. Okay, cool. So now it's climbing its temperature ladder. And while that's heating up, we'll wait for it to turn green. I can do this. So now I want to try, I want to try something kind of close up here. Here we go. So let's just watch it do its filling thing here. This isn't, I'm not going to achieve anything really important in terms of like repair, but I just want to watch, see how that, yeah, what, let's just try going over this and see if I can't get something interesting out of it. Here it comes. Yo. Now, as far as like a fill, that's pretty amazing. I know, I know. I it's the, this has got to be one of the harder things to deal with, right? And the 3D printing, but um, I feel like I could sand that to something reasonable if this was mission critical. I just want to do a little building up. Look, that's not beautiful, but there's actually some real possibilities there. I mean, now that that has set, this actually, I can actually move this. I can actually, like, adjust this. There's actually some room. I'm quite impressed. I'm digging this. I really, this is... Oh, right, uh...
holding a reverse button for two seconds to have it eject all the filament. There we go. Um, this is just my first pass with a new tool. Uh, I have certainly had 3D prints that had issues on their face. Uh, level artifacts, places where the, 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 the support didn't work and I ended up with a, a hole. This seems like a fabulous way to fix that. You can adjust the temperature. So if you want a lot of saturation and a lot of melting of both sides of the equation, you could increase the temperature. Um, I might consider, well, okay, my one issue with this, frankly, is I wish the tip was a little bit longer. It's hard to see out at the end of it. Uh, and the ergonomics of these buttons are a little funky. Uh, the, the, the pot, there's not really, there's not a super positive feel on the forward button. Um, there's not a super positive. And so it took me a couple tries to hit it. Uh, it's sort of natural for your thumb to want to hit it, but that was also a little bit funky. There's a little bit of, uh, there's just some getting used to, to this, but frankly, as like something one should have when one has a 3d printer, I think this is kind of invaluable. Um, I am sure it'll come up in a project in the future, but for right now, a pen that outputs, I mean, you really could just build with this. That's kind of cool. You could draw in color if you wanted to and turn it over. Yeah, that's really neat. Um, or repair your prints and sand them flat again. I'm digging it. Thank you guys for watching this quick show and tell, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for supporting us by watching this channel. You can support us on an even deeper level by heading over to tested-store.com and picking up one of our tested embroidered baseball caps. We got your normal baseball cap, we got your flex fits, and we got flex fit truckers, and we are just starting to play around with lots of new designs, so check back regularly. Thanks.